Hello there, have a seat. Thank you. What is your name? My name is Emma Gunderson. Okay, Emma. We're going to start the IELTS speaking section. I will record this speaking part of the test for marking purposes. To begin, I'm going to ask you a few questions on a general topic. Are you ready to proceed? Yes, I am. Okay. Let's talk about the internet. How often do you use the internet? I use the internet very often. Every day, uh, at least a few times a day. I couldn't live without it. What are some of the sites you use regularly? I mostly use the internet for social networking. I also like to buy clothes online, so I use a lot of online shopping websites. Do you use the internet at school or at work? I use it uh, at both uh, school and work. However, I mostly use it at home. I also have internet on my mobile phone, uh, so I can use the internet almost anywhere. Is the internet access commonly available in your country? <laughs> yes, uh, it certainly is. I'm uh, from Oslo in Norway, and the uh, internet is practically part of the culture. Why do you think people use the internet? Hmm, that's uh, an interesting question. I think uh, people use the internet to stay in touch with each other, to meet uh, new people, to buy new things, and to learn about the world. The internet makes the world smaller and uh, makes it easier for everybody to connect. That is the end of part one. For part two, I will ask you about a specific topic. You will have one to two minutes to talk about this topic. You will have one minute to prepare what you are going to say. You can make notes if you wish. Now we will begin. Here is a card with the questions. Okay, the one minute is up. Please begin speaking. My best friend uh, growing up was Lana. We met on the first day of uh, kindergarten and we have been best uh, friends ever since. She is a kind and uh, loyal person who would uh, do absolutely anything for someone she cared about. One funny thing about uh, her is that she looks exactly like me. She is tall with blonde hair, blue eyes and uh, lots of freckles. We both uh, played football growing up and uh, usually we were on the same team. We would practice on our own and she would try to make me a better player. During high school, we got into a big fight over a boy, but we ended up realizing that our friendship was not worth risking over a silly relationship issue. She truly is a wonderful friend. Now that we are done high school, we are still best friends. We live in different cities, but we talk on the phone or on the computer every day. I go to visit her and uh, she comes to visit me and we have a great time together. I know that we will stay best friends for a very long time, wherever our lives take us. Okay, stop. That is the end of part two. I will now ask you some specific questions related to the topic of part two. We will now begin part three. What qualities should a friend have? The most important uh, quality I think a friend uh, should have is uh, honesty. If a friend is not honest, they aren't really a friend. Other important qualities a friend should have are kindness, generosity, and loyalty. Why are friends important? That is an unusual question. Can you give me a second? Of course. Hmm. In my opinion, uh, friends are important because they are people to rely on, talk to, and spend time with. 
A person without friends is a very lonely person. Friends are people to do activities with, have fun with and tell stories too. Friends are extremely important and I can't imagine a life without mine. Is it important to have a best friend and why? It uh, definitely is important to have a best friend. A group of friends is nice, but there needs to be that one person above the others. That friend is the closest, most trustworthy person in the group. That person can be relied uh, on for anything. What types of activities do you do with your friends? There are a number of things uh, I like to do with my friends. I like to go to movies, parties and uh, concerts with them, but uh, mostly I just like to hang out and spend time with them. It doesn't really matter what we do as long as we are spending time together. Are most of your friends from your childhood or did you meet them more recently? I have uh, an interesting uh, mix of friends. I met my best friend when I was very young. I met some of my good friends in elementary school, some in high school and some in university. I also met a number of friends through different jobs I've had. Overall, I'd say I met most of my friends more recently. Do you enjoy making new friends or do you prefer to spend more time with your current friends? Hmm, I uh, enjoy making new friends, but I do prefer spending time with the friends I have now. If I get a new job or move somewhere new, I do enjoy meeting people in those settings, but meeting new friends is uh, not something that uh, I actively try to do. Great. That is all. That is the end of part three. And that concludes our test. Thank you very much for coming, Emma. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.